Hey everyone, welcome back to the Six Five Summit. I'm one of your hosts here, Daniel Newman, and we are on day one and the AI track. And I have another really exciting conversation here. David Liu, CEO Plus. David, it's been a year roughly since we had you on the summit. It's so great to have you back. How's things going? Daniel, thank you for inviting me. It's great to be here today.、Uh, things are actually going great、uh, at Plus over the last year.、Uh, we have seen a lot of、uh, momentum on the commercialization front.、Uh, most recently,、uh, early、uh, in May, we have announced a strategic partnership with Bosch.、Um, Bosch has.、Uh, One of the largest、uh, tier one, one of the largest,、uh, the the longest uh, running uh, tier one supplier in automotive space. It's an important partnership for us to have.、Uh, we can leverage Bosch's global reach to、um, put our、uh, highly automated driving solution in customers' hands. At the same time, we can also utilize Bosch's、uh, engineering services group to serve our automotive customers much better. Uh, we have also recently announced a partnership、uh, with Nikola to put Plus Drive, our highly automated driving system, on all of Nikola's、uh, electric truck lines, both the ba-、uh, battery electric vehicles as well as fuel cell trucks that Nikola is launching.、Um, so the product is going to be available on all Nikola trucks、uh, in the coming year, in next year,、um, and、uh, in Europe. Uh, we're deepening our partnership with Iveco, and uh, recently uh, our uh, Plus Drive enabled truck is running on public roads and testing in Europe uh, uh, with our technology on it.、Um, so we're seeing a lot of、uh, momentum on the adoption of the technology front, as well as the commercialization of the technology. Yeah, I mean. David, since a year ago, actually, we came through to Northern California, and we had the chance、um, to visit your your offices and take a ride in one of your trucks with the autonomous, the L2 Plus technology. I got to say,、um, you know, I saw it on video before, and of course, getting in any sort of big rig and being you know comfortable without a driver.、Um, It takes a little bit of change, but it was a remarkably good experience. And of course, there was a driver there because L2 Plus means there was somebody there guiding it. But, but first of all, I just want to say your technology has moved in a very impressive way. And these partnerships, as I see it, are indicative. When the largest OEMs in the world,、uh, when you have you know Europe, which is always a very cautious policy in terms of policy, moving forward and enabling you to、uh, put your technology on on the roads. That's a that's a great sign, and this is a really important technology for safety.、Uh, you know, for, for of course we know there's a lot of risk in this business. You're going to lower that risk, which I really really like. Now, I do want to ask you though, a lot of companies over the last few years have kind of come out and said we're going to do autonomous or we're going to do、uh, you know ADAS in in semis in large trucks. What is your sort of way of positioning Plus as different than those other companies that are playing enter the space? Yeah, that, that's a great question. So、uh, Plus always had the vision that eventually、uh, machines going to be able to make、uh, driving a lot safer,、um, be able to、uh, lower the、uh, the accidents、uh, rates on the on the highways and make.、Uh, Uh, make long haul trucking a lot more sustainable.、Um, we think that will be the eventual future where you know、uh, machines be will be able to deliver driverless transportation for the society. However, we have a very differentiated approach to get there. We believe in, in a evolutionary approach. We think technology can be utilized to improve the transportation network today. Can be in,、uh, used to improve the driving experience of the drivers today, and then can make this the trucks much more fuel efficient today.、Uh, so we have applied our technology、uh, in the call it L2 Plus、uh, sector to make these、um, trucks become highly automated driving machines, where、um, you know you still have a driver behind the wheel monitoring and controlling the whole truck. 
right? It's monitoring our system to perform some of these mundane uh, driving activities while the truck is, you know, driving on, on you know, hundreds and some, sometimes thousands of miles of uh, highways. It's a very laborious job. And the machine is helping humans and helping human drivers do the job much safer, much better, much more efficiently. And along the way, we'll be able to gather a lot of data. Uh, we'll be able to use that data to improve the system, improve its performance even better. And to a point, eventually, it's going to perform safer than an average human driver. And that's the point where we think the discussion about uh, you know, producing and operating a driverless uh, trucking network uh, become more realistic and become a more scalable discussion. Uh, so that is our approach, and we have a highly differentiated approach to the rest of the industry on that. Yeah, so it sounds to me, if I kind of recap that, David, that you guys have chosen a more progressive approach to get to autonomy because, A, you know, you can build up that safety profile. You can more immediately put the technology into market because it still has that driver support, but it can help make drivers safer for longer. And, of course, you're going to gain a ton of training data um, concurrently while doing this safely uh, in the market. So is that kind of a good, succinct wrap up of kind of why you've taken this approach as opposed to maybe a lot of companies wanting to just immediately talk about we're going fully autonomous? Right, exactly. So we're one of the first companies who has put forward uh, the, this uh, technology approach, which is data-driven, model-based, and it's based on generative AI approach. We're one of the first companies who's uh, embarked on that path. And we're starting to see a lot of rewards on pursuing that technology approach. Yeah. So, you know, speaking of technology approach, you know, the industry, especially automotive, is really focused now on software defined vehicles. Um, how does that sort of impact on the trucking side plus? Because, you know, with so many OEMs trying to build their own software capabilities, is this a partnering opportunity? Do you see this as a competitive issue down the line? Um, perhaps it's somewhere, you know, it's somewhere in the middle. Where is it going to land for you at Plus? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think the industry right now is coming around to have a consensus that the future will be software defined vehicles, right? So automotive uh, is, is starting to change in from a hardware centric approach to more of a software defined software centric approach. And I think to make that transition, uh, various companies are seeing uh, different challenges uh, in, in making that transition. And recently, there have been some, you know, big events. Uh, you know, starting with Oracle and and all, all those companies. Um, you know, it's a it, it's an area. Uh, you know, I, I think all, all companies will continue to 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 test to 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 make sure that you know we're, we're future proof. But along the way, we're going to encounter some challenges. Uh, now, Plus is a software company. We're software centric. And over the past seven years, we've built up a lot of expertise in understanding what software is necessary to help drive the next generation, you know, call it automotive solutions. And, you know, we've been working with many OEMs and, and tier ones and partners who have a lot of expertise on the hardware side. And we, we, we believe we've, we've gained a lot of expertise and we're ready to offer a lot of that to willing partners. Yeah, I, I definitely think collaboration with software is going to be important. You know, what made the historic industry successful for some of the tier ones, David, but not necessarily for consumers, was that so many unique parts. And then you saw over time, you know, in, in vehicles, for instance, and over time you'd see, oh my gosh, there's you know, from the bottom to the top of a line and then across a bunch of different brands, they started making parts more and more similar, but cars are now becoming like computers. So of course, you know, you can reference like what Tesla has done, but it's like, you can have the car any way you, we're almost back to the beginning with the Model T. You can have it any way you want, as long as you want it with that one screen <laughs> that does everything. And I think that software is gonna be standardized. So companies that can do the software really well are going to have big opportunities because that's what the consumer wants is a consistent, easy to use experience. Same thing's going to happen in the trucking space. Tell me a little bit more about why partnering, why in particular it's good for companies to partner with Plus. Sure. So Plus offers 
a solution as an open autonomy platform. So it's a software platform on day one that provides the, our OEM customers a turnkey solution. So you can install plus system and turn your vehicle, whether it be a truck or a passenger vehicle, into an autonomous driving vehicle. It enables it with highly automated driving functionality, uh, something like Tesla's FSD function. Uh, so that's on day one. We provide that as a turnkey solution. But at the same time, the OEM has the option to actually own and add and customize that platform on their own. So they get to actually own their own destiny. They can have this, uh, the, the, the open autonomy platform and continue to develop it and customize it with its own spec and its own data. So this would give the OEM the, the total control of the, one of the most important piece of their future business, which is the autonomy solution. Uh, so we basically offer you know, our customers uh, what's present, what's today, as well as their future. Uh, that's why it's, uh, it's highly different working with Plus because we want our customer to be successful. We want our customers to actually control their own uh, de destiny. Well, there's two really good takeaways from that, David. I mean, the first, of course, the open platform sounds like it's something partners should really consider. But the second is, sounds like you're also moving from being more focused around trucks to also moving in the direction of folk, uh, working with all types of different vehicle platforms, which I think is great. Yes, I mean, we're getting a lot of uh, inbound demand posts from uh, OEM partners and customers uh, asking whether we can adopt and adapt our trucking solution, commercial vehicle solution onto passenger vehicles. The answer there is absolutely yes. Uh, so we're extremely excited about seeing a lot of uh, commercial momentum on that front, you know, years of working and, uh, and refining our technology. It looks like uh, it's going to be something valuable for the industry. So with a little bit of time we have left, just a couple of minutes here, David, I'd love for you to kind of just give, give uh, everyone, give me, give everyone out here at the 6.5 Summit, just a little flavor of what you see coming next. What is going to come next for PLUS? I think uh, from an industry point of view, autonomy industry is actually at an inflection point. I think the past few years or past decade, um, folks, including Plus and many other companies has been exploring on different methods or methodology and technical approaches to solve the autonomy problem. I think we're at a point where from a performance, hardware performance, software performance, the algorithm, data, and uh, you know, general consumer acceptance point of view, all of that is at the point where you know, it feels like it's ready for big time showcase growth. Uh, so my prediction is that the next five years would actually be very different from the previous five years. Uh, the past five years were laying a foundation for the hyper growth of autonomy solution, autonomy adoptions. And I think actually the next five years will be the inflection point. And in terms of a technology adoption, you always have these inflection points where prior to the, these points, uh, you know, you have linear growth or very slow growth. And then once you hit the inflection point, you're going to have exponential uh, dramatic growth. And I think, um, you know, my, my prediction is next five years, we're going to see exponential growth in adoption of autonomy solution uh, in the transportation and mobility industry. Yeah, it's really an encouraging outlook, David. And I tend to agree. I, I can't see a circumstance in which we don't see with all the acceleration on AI, um, all the training data that we're starting to get from having these more intelligent vehicles on the road. And of course, with what you're doing in, in trucking and of course, the need for safer, um, more advanced ways to get goods from point A to point B. That's what the world runs on. So it seems that you're really well positioned. And of course, I'm really appreciative of you coming on here, telling us what's going on, getting us up to speed in the truck, in the trucking space. But of course, you're also talking AI, which is what you're part of here at the 65 Summit. So, David, thank you so much for joining us this year. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. It's good to be here. And there you have it, everyone. David Liu, CEO of Plus. We were talking autonomy. We were talking about the future of vehicles, transportation, AI, and so much more here at the 6.5 Summit on the day one AI track. Stay with us.